John Barnes has been a diligent student of the history of art. Consistently excellent in his studies, he has concentrated much of his attention on medieval and Renaissance religious art, frequently bringing in insightful observations from philosophy and theology John offers subtle, intelligent readings of spiritual messages in the arts. From the sweeping ecclesiology of Jan van Eyck's Gant altarpiece to Albrecht Durer's pensive melancholia, John has plumbed the depths of meaning and spiritual intellectual signification in pre- and early modern art. As a deep thinker, writer, and art historian, John is a formidable graduate with great potential for future academic endeavor. We congratulate him on receiving an outstanding student award. Madeleine Boysen is a critical thinker, strong writer, polished speaker, and a fierce advocate for those living with chronic illness and disability. It's been wonderful getting to know her over the last year at the gallery, where she helped to organize a performance to accompany an exhibition by Faith Wilding, and in my course on the grotesque, where she co-taught an entire two-hour class session, leading her peers in a thoughtful discussion of disability aesthetics. Her scholarship is well-researched and persuasively written, as demonstrated in her paper on Frida Kahlo's Broken Column Self-Portrait, and her senior project entitled Between New York and Taos, The Importance of Place in the Lives of Modernist Artists, Beatrice Mandelman and Louis Ribach. Congratulations, Madeline, on receiving an outstanding undergraduate art history student award. We can't wait to see what you do next. Danielle Cunningham is an MA student in art history with a concentration in museum studies. She's a creative scholar whose explorations of performance art, disability and gender make cutting edge contributions to social change in the critical area of diversity, equity and inclusion. She has also served as the graduate gallery assistant in the Vicki Mirren Gallery for two years and as an independent curator of exhibitions in other venues around Denver. Congratulations to Danielle on winning an outstanding Graduate Art History Student Award. Mio Fukuzawa is a senior art history major with a philosophy minor, whom I had the great fortune of having in three of my classes this past year. Mio's research and scholarship in those classes included a brilliant exhibition proposal investigating the use of food in contemporary art. And just recently, Mio presented her original research titled Pop and Power, American Influence in Contemporary Japanese Pop Art. Congratulations to Mio on winning an outstanding undergraduate student art history award. Hello everyone, I am Nicole Parks and it is a pleasure to give the Dr. Mary Ann Scott Outstanding Student Award to Mazelle Zagai. Mazelle and I began at DU at the same time. I as the Madden Museum Program Director and she as the first awarded Madden Fellow. She has been instrumental in the development of the Madden Museum, its programs, exhibitions, and its use of the collection. It is not surprising she was selected to receive this award. At the museum, she has worked on everything from museum management and patron development alongside me. And she has trained incoming grads, worked on collections care, exhibition, graphic design. She's co-curated co the first exhibition at the Madden and curated her own focused exhibition. She has worked on project management, been published, and is working on an upcoming catalog on the Madden collection. And that is just a little bit of what she's done as a graduate student. She is reliable, professional, and hardworking. She is well deserving of this award, and I am proud of her. Congratulations, Ms. L.
Hello, my name is Deborah Howard, and I'm the head of the painting program. It is an honor to present Daniel Goldstein with the Duart Outstanding Student Award. Daniel brought his innate sense of curiosity and wonder to his education. He studied art and art history at DU and in Italy and found connections between everything. In class discussions, Daniel always found new meaning in his classmates' art. As Daniel's photography blossomed, the wonder of childhood was never lost. His art is a celebration of serious play. And Daniel understands his work in relation to the continuum of art and the continuum of a human being. His photographs layer translucent color with ghostly toys. These elements merge into worlds that beckon the viewer to experience beautiful moments that are unknown but feel familiar. As Daniel searched for originality in his photography, he intuitively created timelessness. He did this by reassessing the past in art and reassessing the past we all share, which is childhood. Daniel's art is mature for a person so young, but he is an old soul that is always carrying a little suitcase full of toys. However, now that suitcase has more knowledge and more tools, and it will continue to fill on his journey as an artist. We at the School of Art and Art History are lucky to have had Daniel along the way. Hello, I'm Kate Casanova, Assistant Professor of Sculpture here at the School of Art and Art History. First off, I want to say a huge congratulations to all of the graduates. It is no small feat to graduate during a pandemic in the last year of your schooling. Um, I am particularly excited to congratulate Sophie Hailu, who is graduating with a Bachelor of Fine Arts. And uh, I had the pleasure of working with Sophie in uh, several classes, open media studio, spatial video, and then I have served as her advisor for her senior project. And I encourage you to all go take a look at the Vicki Muren Gallery website to view her amazing animations that she made for her senior project. As an artist, Sophie works with themes of sound, heritage, and migration. She uses any medium necessary to achieve her concept. And her work is always very thoughtful with attention to detail and a real interrogation of her ideas. One of the things I really appreciate about Sophie is how willing she is to participate in the classroom and what a vital part she has been during critiques and discussions, giving feedback to other students, bringing up points that maybe uh, they haven't considered, and um, helping to provide that, uh, that critical lens that's necessary when thinking about uh, and evaluating contemporary art. And finally, I'm thrilled to announce that Sophie is one of the recipients of the Do Art Outstanding Student Award. Congratulations, Sophie. I'm really excited to see where your art career takes you. Hi there. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Quist, uh, and I'm a visiting artist and teacher in the ceramics area here at DU for the past two quarters. And during that time, I've had the great pleasure of working with Leah as she developed her BFA work. Um, I believe this is the 17th try on recording this video. Uh, and I'm finding it difficult to capture like the greatness of Malia in such a short, short blip. Um, all the work you see in her show was created in her studio apartment. Um, Malia really took on the challenges of the pandemic head on, um, creating highly technical, very delicate, detailed work um, 
in uh, conditions that that are not easy for something like that. <laughs> and somehow she she pulled it off, and I'm, I'm getting to know her. I'm honestly not surprised that she she was able to do that. Um, Malia will continue at DU, getting her master's in education, which is very exciting. Congrats, Malia, on that. Um, and uh, I'm also excited to announce Malia will be one of the recipients of the DU Art Outstanding Student Awards. Um, so congratulations, Malia. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a true, true pleasure and honor to work with you. Hey Ellen, how are you? I'm so happy to tell you about the Outstanding Student Award you're receiving from DU Art. A huge congratulations on that. You know, it's been wonderful spending time with you over the past four years. I've thoroughly enjoyed every minute of your company. And you probably don't know this because I've probably never told you, but you're one of those students that's always challenged me to think about things in different ways. And I thank you for doing that. Thanks also for your fabulous sense of humor and for making me laugh so much. But most of all, thanks for in infecting the School of Art and Art History and the world with your beautiful humanity. I know you'll continue doing that and making the world a better place. Congratulations, Ellen. Please keep in touch. Good luck out there. Bye. Hi, Jason Duncan. I am here in my garden, which seemed like the appropriate place to share this news with you um, after our conversations about farming and worms and agriculture. So I figured this would be a, a good location to, to share good news with you. Um, it was really an honor to get to know you this last year, both in professional practice and in wood and metal. Um, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I am here to share the exciting news that the studio faculty have selected you to be the recipient of this coming year's Helen Davis Award. That award is granted to an outstanding junior BFA student to support their work throughout the senior sequence and throughout their senior year in the School of Art and Art History. Um, you may have seen the, the successes um, that that award helped nurture this year of our last two recipients, Daniel Goldstein and Malia Ortiz. And I'm so excited that you are the next person in line to receive this award. So congratulations, Jason. We're really excited for you to have this opportunity. I also want to congratulate all of the students receiving awards and not receiving awards. Everybody gets an award for surviving this last year and getting through the pandemic and all of the remote learning that we've engaged in together so well. So congratulations to everybody. You did it. We did it. Onward we go with utmost optimism and positivity. So Jason, congratulations again to you. Congratulations to all of our award recipients this year. And congratulations to everyone who is hanging in there. That's important too. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful summer, everyone. May we see each other again in person soon. Hello, I'm Dr. Annabeth Hedrick, Director of the School of Art and Art History. Each year, one work is selected from the BFA exhibition for the Director's Choice Award. This year, the award goes to Daniel Goldstein for his photograph, Shell. Shell is whimsical, mysterious, and playful. As part of this award, this photograph will now enter the University of Denver's permanent art collection. Congratulations, Daniel. <laughs> 